Hey YouTube, it's Jen. I am back from vacation, and that means back to making some videos. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving, and it is officially start of the holiday season, which is definitely my favorite time of year. Today was Black Friday, and I did take advantage of a couple of sales at Bath and & Body Works and Victoria's Secret, so I thought I would do a haul video for you. I'll go with Victoria's Secret first. They had their perfumes on sale for $30, and then their body care, at least the fantasies, for $7 for $35. I love the perfumes. I think they smell really good, and I definitely wanted to pick one up. So I went ahead and picked up the Sexy Little Things Noir. I love the scent. Last Black Friday, I got the Sexy Little Things Noir teas, and I just finished it up. So I decided to get this one to replace it. I also did the $7 for $35 on the body care, and I got some really good scents. And I realized how behind I was in the in this line because there are so many scents I had never smelled before or even I had never really heard of. I guess I've been so wrapped up in Bath and Body Works scents that I kind of forgot about Victoria's Secret for a little while. So I went ahead and picked up one favorite. The first one is an oldie with goodie for me. This is Pure Seduction. I love this scent. I remember getting it in college. It's just really nice, fruity, and bright. It's a great scent. It's red common freesia. I also get a little bit of like a cassava melon in there. It smells really good. So I went ahead and picked up the lotion and the mist. I also picked up a new scent that I had never tried before called Such a Flirt, and this is a mix of starfruit and white orchid. And I went ahead and got the shower gel and the lotion. I didn't really get the mist because I felt like this was something I could wear on, on its own for kind of just an easy day. don't really need a lot of fragrance, so I got those to wear. Last but not least is a scent that I just absolutely loved, and I never smelled it before. I tried it on in the store, and just I couldn't get enough of it, so I definitely had to pick it up. It is called Secret Craving. This is a mix of black currant and vanilla absolute. And this really is just a creamy, sweet, almost like a candy fragrance. And I, I just love it. I don't know why I was drawn to it so much. Um, I've been really getting into some of the heavier, spicier scents lately, but this really just attracted me. So I went ahead and I got the lotion. I got the Smoothing Body Scrub, which is a great body scrub if you have never tried these. I really like them. And then they didn't have the sprays. They were actually sold out. So I went ahead and got the Eau de Toilette because that way I don't have to use as much and it will make me smell like secret craving longer. Because I spent $65, I went ahead and got the little tote bag for free. It's a really cute tote. It's big and it's bright pink, so I will never lose it. It has the Victoria's Secret logo on the front with um, pink sequins sewed on it. It's really cute. Definitely something I could see myself using. And inside the bag came with, it came with a bunch of goodies. It came with a coupon for later use, $10 off a $50 purchase. Not bad. It also came with a little perfume sample for Victoria's Secret Seduction Number 1, Dark Orchid. It also came with a lip gloss. This is in Strawberry Fizz. Really pretty, nice, simple, shimmery lip gloss. It also came with a little mod body mist in Sexy Little Things Noir Tees. I know I like this scent, so I was happy to have that. These are great to keep in your purse for little refreshers. And then a body lotion I've never tried before, but I really like it. It's the Love My Body Amazing All Over Body Lotion in Jasmine and Water Lily. This smells great, and it works well to boot. I really was impressed with how it made my skin feel just a couple times I've used it. So if I really enjoy this little sample, I will definitely be picking it up in the full size because, like I said, I really just like the way it made my skin feel. So that was my little haul from Victoria's Secret. It did qualify me for a Secret Awards card. And basically what a Secret Awards card is, is it's a little gift card that's worth at least $10. It does have the option of being worth $50, $100, or $5, $500, but I've never really had one that's worth more than $10. But at least a $10 um, off, you know, gift card that you can use starting November 29th, which I will probably use towards the holiday collection if I like it. So I love these little reward things. It's always fun to see what your reward might be. Now I'm going to show you my haul from Bath & Body Works. They had their candles two for 20. I didn't take advantage of the VIP bag. It just wasn't worth it to me. Um, I, plus I had gotten all that body care from Victoria's Secret, so I really wasn't feeling the buy three, get three free. But I had to take advantage of the candles. There were some holiday ones I really wanted. And they had coupon stacking, so it was really easy to just get in and out of the store. I was really impressed with the customer service at my local store. They did a great job, and they really got us moving and out of there as quickly as possible. So kudos to you, Bath & Body Works. 
So the first candle I purchased was the one that was only available today. It's the White Barn Christmas 2012 candle. This is only available today and it was on sale for $10, so I thought I would pick it up. And White Barn Christmas is described as a jubilant fragrance of sugared pine, sweet green balsam, crisp apple, and smoked firewood. And I didn't think I liked this, but I actually really enjoy it. I definitely get a little bit of that firewood, but it's really mixed in with that pine. And it just makes for a really heavenly, fresh, kind of outdoorsy scent. It reminds me of a winter, like a winter day, and it's really nice. So I'm very excited to burn that, see how it throws. I also got a three wick in Peach Bellini. And Peach Bellini, I was, it's kind of weird to see it out with the holiday stuff because I've always kind of associated that scent with the spring and summer collection. However, I do love it. Peach Bellini is described as a shimmering holiday twist on a classic blend of white peach and tart black currant featuring jasmine and a splash of juicy orange. This is such a bright, energizing fragrance that I cannot wait to burn it on, you know, someday when I'm cleaning or really need to get up and about. It's just a really nice, bubbly fragrance. I also got Spiced Apple Toddy, and Spiced Apple Toddy is described as a warming blend of apple brandy and spiced plum infused with mulled cider and tart cranberry. Spiced Apple Toddy, honestly, is just a spicier version of leaves. There's not much difference, but I love leaves, and I love this scent. I love that it's a little bit spicier, so I had to pick one up for future use. Also got Evergreen. Evergreen is described as a festive scent of fur needles, winter pine, and a touch of white birch in a true winter celebration. And this is, again, just another really nice, strong, fresh kind of tree smell, and I really love the tree smells this time of year. I used to hate them, but now I absolutely love them. The candle I purchased is Merry Cookie, and it's one of those cute ones that has a little recipe on the top. A Merry Cookie is described as a bowl full of cookie dough made from the very finest ingredients pure vanilla, butter, and sugar. It really just smells like a creamy shortbread cookie. Really nice. Um, nice and simple for the holidays. It's a good candle, and the cold throw is very good. And then last but certainly not least, I have Merry Mistletoe, which was a favorite from last year. And Merry Mistletoe is described as a magical blend of frosted cranberries, blue spruce, and ice citrus. Makes this Merry fragrance perfect for every celebration this year. This is just a really nice citrusy tree scent, again, with the, with the trees. I just love that scent. Um, it's a great candle, and I had really good luck with it last year, so I wanted to get it again, because it's definitely something I could see myself enjoying. So that was my Black Friday haul. If you guys did any shopping today, post what you got down below. I love looking at Black Friday hauls, so do either do a video response or a comment, whichever you like. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye!